Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help from beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii, Waikiki Beach. Now, today I'm going to be showing you how to transport your video footage from a JVC Averio camera. Move my stupid little mouse there. So I've got my power plugged in just as a constant source. I've pre-recorded a video clip into here. I'll show you how to transfer it. So I'll plug in my USB cable to the front of the camera as my unit. Take the other side. I'm going to plug it in to the side of the Mac here. Once I turn the camera on, I'm going to select my option. As soon as my menu comes up here, there we go. I'm going to choose, I don't know if you can see that, I'm going to choose backup, I'm going to choose OK, and I'm going to see my hard drive pop up over here. Okay, so I'm going to open it, oh. sorry about that, okay, so I'm going to go into SD video, I'm going to go into PRG002, and the clip you are looking for is going to have an MOD extension. Okay, this is our standard PC, MPEG, whatever. Um, now, what I want to do is I'm going to open up a predetermined space here on my hard drive, and go into, let's say, import video, and I'm going to take this MOD file, drag it into that folder, once that's done, you can close out of here, you can close out of here for now, and you want to eject the camera. Done. Okay, so I can turn this off. I can unplug it from the USB. Done deal. Okay, so now that we have our video imported to our hard drive, you're going to want to pick up a program called Video And you can get that from, let's see. Okay, so if you do a Google search for Video Vangelis, okay, you see that right there? If you choose the second link on the page, it's going to take you to Mac Update, all right? And Video Vangelis 2.1.6, you can download it now. And there you have it. So once that program is installed, you start it up and then you're going to open your folder that you put your video in import video for me so I'm going to simply drag this over to my other software it's ready to go I'm going to select my format now for iMovie I like to go with like high quality so I choose DV and leave it as raw DV and choose your directory so let me go ahead and select my folder real quick here. Video, there we go. All right, so click start. And this process is going to run for a little bit. It's going to convert the you know the longer the clip, the longer the time it's going to take. So hopefully this will be a speedy one since it's a fairly short clip. I think I did like 30 seconds or something. Alright, done. Easy. Okay, so here's your final product right here. So you can... Okay, so a, here's some test video footage. Our convert. Take a little preview of it there. Okay, so now your video is imported into your computer. Simple as that. Um, now you can go over to iMovie and choose File, New Project. I just choose movie. I do not automatically add the crosses and fades and all that stuff because I like to work with it. Okay, now import movies. Then you're going to point it in the right direction. So for me, taking the long route here, import video, and here we go. There's my movie. I want to import that. Shouldn't take too long for this one. Alright, so there's my movie clip. 
Go in and play it. Our version from the Vario MPEG 4 format. So there you have it. Um, if you want to work with this clip, um, oops, you can simply drag it up into the area that you want. Come in, take out certain sections, do whatever you want. So, all right. So this has been my tutorial for Video Vangelis 2.1.6. And I hope this was helpful for you guys to help you get your um, video to be able to go into your camera. And I will do a video soon showing live camera input through Video Glide. You guys already know about that. So, anyway, if this video was helpful, please post a uh, positive comment. If you didn't like it and you hate me, then poke my own. Either way, peace out.